up t-shirt reference Good afternoon, how are you doing? I hope you're swell, I hope you're lovely I changed my shirt just for you because I was like Yo, you see me wearing the same clothes every day And fact! I am not a Simpson, believe it or not. I'm not. I change clothes sometimes, every once in a while. Exciting day ahead of us, as per usual, because we make every day count. Zoom. The mission for today, obviously, emails. That's always there. I'm going to take my parents to a movie. I got to self-tape an audition. Make sure I got all my wires and ish on cue for DJing tomorrow. When I say DJing, I mean press play on iTunes. I got to approve some payments for my team, because I pay. Get this, people want to get paid. I was like, what? Aside from all of that, I don't care how little sunshine I see today, my sunshine is gonna come from within, and I don't care if that sounds like a Tumblr quote. I'm gonna try my best to be like, no sunshine doesn't matter. And by that, I mean I'm gonna buy one of those lamps that replicates the sun. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be an exciting day, let's go! You know when you wake up some mornings and you're like, I know I have a lot to do, but like maybe I should do it later, but today, no, we're not gonna procrastinate. What up, t-shirt reference? I'm sorry, I promise this whole day will not be full of cat puns. You know me. The main thing this vlog's gonna be full of is positivity. Oh, why does my camera keep not focusing? Just like, a work with me, please. Here's the thing for searching for movie times, right? I feel like in a group of people, there's always that one person that's responsible, and it's like, I'll search for the movie times, and that's me with my parents if I want them to do anything, or otherwise they're just like, let's stay home. We have TV, why not movie at home, comfortable, blanket? I'm like, can you leave the house sometimes? Is that, can, can we do that? So, movie times. What are the movie times? Annabelle is out. Annabelle came out today. I love horror movies. I want to watch Annabelle. My parents will just straight up piss themselves. Atomic Blonde? No, I do not need that awkward situation. Atomic Blonde is great, but watch with my parents, my Indian parents, that's not going to be fun because they're going to be naked. And we're like, oh, um, like, uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, I swear, you, uh, you, what? That's going to be me. I can't, no, 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 no. I heard my mom say the word sex once. It was because she was filling out an application form. I almost died. What emoji movie, Despicable Me, Lego movie, blah, 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 blah. Is Wonder Woman not playing? Again! BRB. Mom, I found a theater, 920. Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman, I've already seen it, but I feel you need to see it. Are you down? I know it's late. Yes, no, it's not late. Wow, that didn't even take much persuasion. No. no. She don't get it, but you do. Cleared my inbox. Can you just, oh wait. <coughs> Give me the points. Here's the thing about paying people. I think people should be paid, but I'm such a cheap person where I'm like, we can't just give people some Skittles? Like, can I pay you in Skittles? I have so many Skittles. Do you not want Skittles? You know what it is? It's the method in which I pay people. I have this long list that comes in this database thing, and that list does not show me my incoming money. It only shows me my outgoing money. So every time I go through this list, I'm like, does somebody have a fresh, unopened bottle of vodka for me? I just, no, no, I, I, you know what it is? I just need to sanitize my hands. I swear, I swear. No, I don't need the hands Sanitizer. I just need the vodka. Give me the vodka. Like you've cat to be kidding me right meow. I just had to stop for a second because I'm just I'm looking at a corpse right now, which is my to-do list because I'm just killing the game. Sending so many important emails. I'm just on like non-stop, non-spot. I'm like, yo, I am young and I will prosper. Okay, I'm done. I promise. I'm done. I'm done. I'm doing my work. You know what I mean? Getting them dollar dollar bills, getting that paper. I did. Two really cool things, genius moments. Number one, I just tweeted something. I came up with this on my own. Just came to my brain. It was, if you don't lead by example, you can't complain as a bystander. And that came to my brain because I was like, oh, I'm working so hard, I'm doing a bunch of things. I was actually lying down when I thought of it. And I was working so hard, I'm doing a bunch of things. And I'm thinking about a whole bunch of people in my life that complain about things that are like, oh, like this isn't working out career-wise, or that's not working out school-wise, or I'm not where I'm gonna be. But then they're the last people to do something about it. So it's like, in your life, if you're not happy about something, you wanna change something, and you're just complaining about it that doesn't fly you need to lead by example especially when it comes to like social justice I feel people on social media are so used to jumping on Facebook and be like well this is wrong culture let me incorrectly use the term cultural appropriation let me incorrectly use all the let me label feminism what I think it should be according to no if you don't actually do anything in your real life and lead by example you cannot be complaining right it goes back to like this idea that humble talks about and I'm like it's okay people are entitled to their opinion he goes no people are entitled to their informed opinion. Like, you gotta actually put some effort into ish. That's number one. Number two, reading this book, it was recommended to me by Harley. It's called The Content Trap, and there's one fact in here where I was like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> oh no, I lost my page. Right, found it. Check this out. This is freaking amazing, okay? It says, five exabytes or five billion billion bytes of data could store all of the words ever spoken by humans between the birth of the world and 2003. So between the creation of the world and 2003, five exabytes of data was every word ever spoken by humans. In 2011, five exabytes of content were created every two 
days. Every two days, we recreated every word said by humanity. That's what the digital age has done. That's what the internet has done. That's what YouTube and everything has done. This is the world we live in. Sorry, I think I was very loud and very fast paced in that last clip and I sounded like a catastrophe. Welcome to today's episode of Let's Embarrass the Crap Out of Lily. Let me show you some of my older pictures. Warning! Warning! May be exposed to extreme amounts of cringe and crust ball when I show you these pictures. You ready for- Oh God! Burns! Hold on. Hi, my name is Shrek and I just um, graduated from elementary school grade 8 and uh, I'm not allowed to get my eyebrows done yet. yet. Which is why it looks like butterflies are about to hatch out of the goddamn caterpillar situation above my eyes right now. I also don't believe in having one chin. I just feel like why not have multiple? And then the smile really, I just what I was trying to communicate was like, I, I have to fart, but I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> Great A. Hey, I'm also continuing the trend of having multiple chins. I also have these major hoop earrings in my ear because I want to prove I'm a girl because people get confused very often. As you can see, I'm wearing a copyrighted Superman chain because I don't understand the law. And if I ever make a YouTube channel, I'm gonna make sure it's copyrighted. Also, my jersey says 6'6", six, six, because if you add another six, it'll make sense why I look like this, because I clearly saw the devil. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I look pretty cute in this one. You know, let me wear a purple suit, put my hair up, you know, look hella cute in this picture. I was imposing. This was a candid, you know, back in the day when you had to develop film when digital cameras didn't exist. Probably paid like $12 to develop this single picture right here. Right here. Yeah, I've just decided that I'm going to be a boy in this picture, which is fine because I've always been a tomboy, but I'm gonna decide that in front of the Christmas tree, you know, because things are hella lit. Pun intended. I'ma just drop this picture with this bomb bomber jacket. Pun intended with these khakis right here. I just, just, yo, Tinder me. Tinder me right here. What up? What was happening? Okay, camera can't even focus on the face because like, is that a face or is that a butthole? <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, that's just adorable. I got nothing to say. I'm just adorable. Oh, uh, look at me. I'm in my pose in front of this aquarium with this little animal over here. Even though literally pee is trickling down my leg because I'm so goddamn scared. But my daddy said I had to pose in front of this we paid full price to get into the zoo and daddy said if we get into the zoo I have to take a picture in front of all the aquariums and all the animal dolls so I took so many pictures and went by so many I mean 32 because that's how much film I had in my disposable camera you know the one was like <laughs> of course you don't know what I'm talking about because you're young and privileged but back in the day <laughs> hold on there was no speed burst okay you had one chance one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted if you missed it too bad. And this picture out of this frame right now got head fake. Just like, oh, there's another a picture behind the picture in the frame. Add this one. And they were like, oh, okay, she looks really, really tragic. Let's just cover this. Let's just hide this behind the picture in the frame. No one's gonna know. Pretend like this picture never happened. Can we just take a moment? <laughs> Let's just take a moment. Okay. Lolly's been around and kicking for a while, as you can see. Like, I, oh my god. Oh my. So it looks like a headshot for someone that was auditioning for like someone that lived just in the worst condition, like a tragedy movie. They're like, listen, we need people that have been through some sort of turmoil. Can you send in your headshots of you in distress? And I'm just like, right here, right here. You look at pictures like that and you're like, uh, I just want to thank you people for how I look today. Cause I think today I look maybe a little bit, except I have a pimple in the exact same place as that picture. Something's never changed, but I'm just like, wow, it's so nice to have two eyebrows because I, I didn't always have two eyebrows. This is a new thing for me. I just, there's just so many people I want to, I want to thank my plucker. You no, know, I want to thank that lady that used to thread me, you know, one little piece in her mouth is the that little th I, I want to thank you. Okay, I want to thank sunglasses for hiding my unibrow when I had one. I want to thank pop sockets, you know, for allowing me to hold my phone in a way where it won't fall on my face and possibly maybe knock one eyebrow back onto my face. I want to thank Uber drivers that don't talk to me because that's the real way to get five stars for me. That's you know, that's what I'm talking about. I want to thank just so many people that made this moment possible. You know, I want to thank face masks for helping me clear up some of this, even though I have my days because you know, I watched Jim Carrey the mask and I never thought that was my future face mask. I want to thank you. I want to thank Instagram filter. I want to thank you. Boosting my confidence. And I'm kidding, after that, no filter for life except for, <clears throat> except for most of the time when I post an Instagram picture. But right now, for the purpose of this rap, no filter because that's the key to success altering your argument according to the situation. Kidding. Kidding. Okay, listen, nobody's perfect. I have this thing where I like take 10 minute naps throughout the day. Like I took two 10 minute naps today. By 10, I mean 20. But you know what I'm talking Now it's time to go buy some popcorn. I mean, watch a movie. Let's get ready. Done representing my school, York University. What's up? 
What up, rented boo? So I don't know about you, but my parents are kind of the type where like, they won't do a lot of things on their own. Like if I don't take them to this movie right now, they probably will never go to the movie. It's not that they're boring people, they're just always like, oh, what's the point, we don't have time, da, da, da. I'm like, live your life. So even though I've seen Wonder Woman, I want to take them because I think it's such a spectacular movie. I especially want my dad to see it because I think like seeing a female hero and like that would be really, really good for him. And I want mom to see because I don't think they've seen anything like that. So I was like, yo, I also want popcorn, but also it's because I'm a perfect loving daughter. Patience, care, consideration. Yo, hurry up! All right, we're gonna play this game. You can do it! Ooh, good job! Oh, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, balle. Go, Dad. Fatte chakko. Share one ke. Hey, so for mom in the lead. Oh, all right, let me try, let me try. Okay, why? Oh, yeah. Mom, you're the best one. Go. Oh, Mom, you're killing the game. Ah, oh, Dad, last one, you. Oh! So both of you are better than me. Both of you are better than me. How was it? Did you like it? Yes, yes. You like yes, it? You like yes, it? Yes, Dad, did you like it? Oh, I like it. Excellent. Did you really like it? Yes. I, can, so I enjoyed it. You know, you. I want to like that. If I didn't, I, I didn't. If, hey, listen. If I didn't sleep, it means is excellent. My dad usually falls asleep. Mom, do the Wonder Woman punches no. again. <laughs> Yo, I am back home. The time is 1 a.m. I'm gonna wash my face, go to bed. A really goddamn productive day. I feel like I can't even get all the points for all the things I did today. Things that have been on my to-do list forever, and it was really, really productive. I was like, Yo, killing the game. Let's see how we did today. Thank you for joining me on my adventures today, yesterday, and tomorrow, and every day that you take some time out of your day to watch me and do whatever the hell I do. Sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's lame, but you're still here watching me. I know once upon a time I said the vlog channel was gonna get an app up. I'm working on it. I have not forgotten. It is in the works, and I cannot wait. I have so many things cooking in here. So many things. It's like a catalog. Oh, I'm not wearing the shirt. Damn it! I was gonna use a catalog pun. No! I should end the vlog now. Until tomorrow. Get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. No. I gotta say, I'm really sad because when you're watching this, it's Sunday, and that means it's Game of Thrones Day, and I'm really miss humble. Like, I really miss humble. Yesterday, he called me, we just talked, I feel like I miss. LA and I miss Humble and I can't even fathom watching Game of Thrones without him screaming next to me so kind of sad